everybody. Pro Trader Mike, founder of the Mojo. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Something weird with the video. Oh. All right, testing, testing. There we go. Yeah, it seems a little delayed. What's going on, everybody? Oh, yes. Hope you had a nice trading day. Probably not as good as we had in the Mojo Day Trade Room, but I'm going to fill you in and show you what went on anyway because that's what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's check it out. Let's head over to the Mojo Day Trade Room. Let me reconnect my camera there. Let's see if we get a little different action coming in. So we have two demos here, demo 50 and 48. This demo on Tesla is up $2.56. Now he's up $3.40. He's up $3.40 now and $2.50. These two demos are doing beautiful on this trade. I'd sell half of that right now. Half of your 20 shares, sell 10. <clears throat> half of your 25, sell 10. Demo 50 and 48. Don't let it go below 256 and $1.61. Definitely sell half. <clears throat> Eight ninety six. Twenty first market hours apply. Showing me the charts at eight eighty five. Eight eighty five. As DPW at 180, Tesla 897. There it goes. So guys, you're up right here, beautifully up four dollars and 375 and 253. Just sell half, guys. How about this? I'll just close it for you. Done. There you go. Nice. And this guy's up a dollar. This guy's. Let me cancel your pending order. Close position. Thank you. You're out of Tesla. All righty. I still got a delay there in the video. Working before. So oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, my fingers aren't too delayed. Add it back in over here. What's going on there, everybody? In, anybody out there in YouTube land? Anybody out there? <clears throat> Anybody out there? Yeah, the video is coming in a little bit delayed. Big deal. <clears throat> so nice job on the uh, trades. We hit a really, really big one in the Mojo Day trade room today called Toka. <clears throat> it was actually from yesterday. Well, Pro Trader Rentaria alerted us to this one. So if we scroll back in the Mojo Room, you can do a search on the top. Right here on 912, Pro Trader Terrific brought it up actually a long time ago when it was going to Heinz a dollar. This is exactly where we did it this time. Amazing. I foffled, glad I foffled Toka at 97 on 912. I didn't foffle it today though. Toka on 1211. Toka. And who else nailed it right here? Rentaria. Right here. He says, these two stocks you better watch. Blink. And Toka could go to Mars and back. And that was yesterday at 10 o'clock. Toka, told you. Toka, today, right there at 10.21 a.m., 97 cents. That was the pick. And then it went $1.20, $1.29, 97 to a 149, 166, 167, 175. Uh, and then it went to a high of 205. 
224 was the high. We got out at, through the Heinz 2 at 205 where it is now. It's looking good. So if you're in the Mojo room today, you nailed Toka. Don't sell short TVIX. Close that position. I don't like to see that. So I'll close that out. Anybody who shorts in the Mojo room, don't be doing that. Hey, Gene, what's going on, Mr. Sewell? Yes. Better, not really. Yeah, a little bit. See what I do is, yeah, it is a little bit better. I take off all the cameras and then I restart them, and for some reason, it gives me a good frame rate. See, I did it again. Yeah, see, it's better now. See my facial expressions when I make them. At least I can. I like that better when I make my videos. I had this for lunch, guys. It was really, really healthy. I had this nice Duffy's salad with the honey mustard and the chicken. I didn't eat all that chicken, but I ate a lot of most of the salad, man. It was good. I had a little bit of everything in there. I so really, really like the trading that went on today in the Mojo Room. Let me show you the profits. Scroll back up. Take a drink of your... Uh... While that scrolls right here, I'll take a sip with you. All right, it's 9.41. Most traders have two shifts. <clears throat> so you can come into the mojo room as a trader in one of two shifts. In the morning shift at 9.30 when the market opens and or before because we trade pre-market. We did pretty good today doing that. So let's see what we got going on. Nine, nope, didn't trade that one. Nine fourteen. So spoke about DPW. Ross from Worry was talking about that stock and basically just how it's a piece of crap and probably going to be front run. Spoke about it at a dollar forty five. Now it's going to be a reverse trend from two twenty and go down and be the typical typical uh, auto close. So first trade of the day, we got in here on this BXRX. I'd say today we did 10 trades on BXRX and seven of them were winners and three were losers. JDST, we did five trades. Again, three winners and two losers. So today we racked up a couple of reprices, which hurt in the overall profit, but still did nice. So out of 15 trades, it's wrong on says the biggest losing day of, of reprices out there, but still remain profitable for the day. And BXRX right there, I got it at 9.22. Allen had it at 9.12 and Sewell had it at 9.11. And then E-Trade's given everyone problems, guys, with the high frequency order flow that they're selling off in the morning, especially on these stocks like these $9 ones trading a million shares. They'll gather up 500,000 shares, man. And they'll ship that thing off to the high frequency trading firm. That'll hold that baby at nine. And then all the orders will come in with the stops right here. Then they'll come in and swoop that baby down and they'll double bang you. That's a lot, a lot of banging action in the morning from them firms on the people. But we did our good job. We sold 959. Sewell made a quick 874 by 940 a.m. Batman cleared 250 and but made only 60 on the trip. Dude, he should have cleared at least 250, made only 60 bucks. 
the robbery, the robbery. And then JDST was moving. Mojo's trading it. SPCE. CLDX, we traded that one. What else is going on? Dow's down. BXRX right there. SPCE. Heinz in 34. 34. 39. 34. 44. Flat. See, that's a good trade right there, man. Nano Viscerides made a move. We traded that. CLDX into Heinz, 296, 297. You buy right there on Skittle, 98. Boom, 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 boom. Goes right to 305 Heinz. See that? Two beautiful Heinz is right there. And we got a little 314 sold right there. See, 314, 314. Beautiful. And we got a little JDST at 766, went to 790. You should buy it back at 766 right now. Codex did good. Nano Viscerides did good. They traded those. Uh, look at the demos on the Codex right here. You following me good. De good job, Demo 61. He's up uh, on 200 shares, 24 cents on that one. And a nickel on that one. Great job, Demo 61. And this is how you do a, a nice little JDST right there. Buy, nice little average. That nice buying average on JDST. Beautiful. Then it goes 768. And then Toka, here's the, here's the signal. You ready? Toka. And the one demo trade, you know, you got to journal this. Look what happened. When you buy a stock at 97, guys, the only way you should sell it, if it goes to 90, you lose. If it goes higher and it goes to 98, hold it. It's called positive expectancy, self-belief. It's going to go through a dollar. And I even said, listen, I like it at 97. I like it at 97. And then it goes 98, 99, and there's some gonzos. It's one of the terminologies that I teach in Mojo University for the students. So maybe he didn't get up to that part yet. And here's the gonzos right here. Here's the level two. And here's the tray. Here's the level two, and here's the chart. It's just starting its move. It's at a dollar. It, it's now 205. It's up 100%. It traded 2.8 million. I'm laying out to the Mojo traders a lot of filled in puzzle pieces that connect together. That's all adding up. The 2.8 million. The 18 million it's traded right now at 3 o'clock. I teach it. It's the 10x factor. It's traded 2.8. Right now it's trading. It'll trade 28 million on the day. 10x factor. Right here is the level 2. 99 cents by a dollar. It's up 11%. Dollar two, dollar six. Now this guy did real bad by uh, buying it and selling it, at, buying it at ninety, so selling it at ninety-seven and ninety-eight. He bought it at ninety-five and change. I told you it's gonna Heinz, and you sold it, dude. One fourteen. Here it goes. One fourteen. Here's one one sixteen. And right now it's traded 3.3 million. Went from 2.8 to 3.3. Most of the demos right here are beautifully making money on my picks. BXRX, Codex, INO, JDST. Everyone across the board is green. Mojo likes to see that in the Mojo Challenge. In the demo, everyone's learning. Toka's at 120, hitting, hitting steam. Toka, you can't buy in the other kind of platforms. The other prop firms... 
trade net with the TEFS, you couldn't trade that one today. But with this platform, you can. <clears throat> you got to make available with what the best is. Listen, there's Caesar's Palace, there's the Win, there's, you know, Bellagio. Yo, if you can't get done in the Bellagio and they got it at the win, man, you got to pick up and bring your money over to the win and get what's best for you over there. That's what we did. That's why we're at the Toka party, man. We're at the Toka party. And there it goes again, 129. Happy days. Show me the money. Right there. We're in TVIX too. So by 10.30 a.m. in one hour, let's see what your hourly wage was. He's pissed because he only made $68. He only made 68 Batman, dude. Batman, you don't, can't piss off Batman. Cannot piss off Batman. Don't piss off Batman. No, 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 no. No! Be nice to Batman. Look at Tesla at 900. Yes! Let me look. 89.99.60. That's pretty nice. Where'd you guys um, get out of that Tesla at? 908. See that shizzle dizzle, dude? I sold you out of that Tesla before, man. Look. Here it is. TV. A lot of TVIX to that. Here's that Tesla, man. Yeah, 896. Oh, that's 899. Big deal. You should have sold when I told you to. You still had 10 shares left. You didn't follow me, man. Gotta follow me with the mode. You gotta be connected to my voice, man. I told you I was coming back. Go eat some lunch. That's what we do. Batman made 68. Sang made 130. Pretty good. Pro Trader Sewell made $855. That's the whole year's worth of subscriptions in this, in this one day. So you're covered for the whole year. Great job, Pro Trader Sewell. Start of a choppy. And then it took off like a rocket ship. So many good trades. Pro trade a slab. $468. Gotta like slab. Knocking out the chang. Distractions and cats on my desk got the better of me. I don't want to talk about it. Learn plenty. Oof. Oof. Sorry. Uh, weeds may surprise this afternoon, did they? Nah, really didn't. NBEV did a little bit. 266 on the NBEV. Let's see what the weeds did here today. NBEV coming up nicely, but it took a dive just now down from 284 down to 266. But it made a beautiful move from 263 all the way up to 75 before. Weed had a nice weed jump. Crone's not doing nothing. Up and down triangles. Right here's a trader's dream. See the up and down triangles? The trader's dream. Dude, they're in total control of this baby. Look at these waves. This is like the chart. You buy here, sell here. Buy here, sell here. Buy here, sell here. What they're doing is they're buying here, selling here, shorting here, buying here, cover. Buying here long, selling here long, selling here short, covering, buying long, selling long, selling short. That's what they're doing, the pros. That have institutional orders in on this thing. That's what they're doing. See it cross STO right there. See it cross STO right there and cross STO right there. Those are the sh three shorts. Here's the cover. Cover on the cross STO. Cover on the cross STO, cover on the cross STO. The longs are right after that on the first green bar. Long, long, long. Sell. First one right there. Right here, Cupid. Sell. And the sell. 
Look at those. That's a beautiful, beautiful trading with control on Crone. JDST, Trader's Dream. Look at this triangle right here. Setting up into the next triangle right here. And then this triangle down here, right back up. And then this one right here. It's filling and now it's going to probably come back up into here and just fill in this whole little box to the institutional dream. Here's the short. Here's the cover. There's the long. Here's the short. Here's the, 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 the sell of the long. Here's the short right there on the cross of the STO. Here's the cover of that short. Here's the long. Here's still long. And here's still long. Let's look at um, rad today. Let me bring down this chart and make it a little bit bigger. So here's rad today. You shorted it right here. Cross STO for the cover right there. The green line bar. The sell right there. The short right there. The cover right there. The long right there. The chair lift up right here, the rail grind right here, the cross STO sell right there, the short right there. You're still short, you're still short, and here's the cover right here on this one green. Beautiful trading all day long. This is the five minute stochastics. That's on rad. T Tilray is making a beautiful trading dream too. Look, triangle, triangle, triangle. It's doing nothing but trying. Here's the short. Here's the long. Here's the cover. It still went down, and here's the long right here. Right there's a long. And you wrote it up for four bars. Tesla, Tesla, you shorted up here. You're covered right there, right there. See that cross? Covered right there. Went long right here and added for the long really right there, which was on this bar right here. And then you rode the chairlift up and you're still in rail grind on this whole move. This is a beautiful, beautiful move right there from 885 right there to 899 15 point move right there here's the signal there's the long the Heinz is 885 you're in on the Heinz you're in 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 you're still in frost Heinz chairlift up big separation right here between the green and the red line, which means you're very steep. Stock's going up very steep on the big separation. The chairlift is flying. You're on the chairlift. You're heading to the top of the mountain. Heading to, and right here, you get off on the top. And now you're skiing above 80%. It's 94. Just keep it above 80. And right there, you runs over. As soon as this line crosses right there, that's it. You runs over, man. But it could stay up right here and just keep on going and going and going. And this thing can rise up even higher. It did that right here. You wouldn't have known from here that it was going to go higher. But look, it's just staying in rail grind. See? That's Tesla right there, baby. That's how that works. Let's look at DGAS. DGAS is up a bunch. Look, DGAS was a short right here. It stayed up strong on the short with the separation. See that? The big downtrend. It crossed STO right there. So you covered there. You went long on the first green bar. And then you rode it up. Look how the red line stays above the green. You're in this whole run right here until you sell right there. So you're in this whole run from here all the way to here, which is 250. 49 from 243. It's like a six point move. Then it's a short right here. And it's a cover right here. 
Beautiful. It's so, the patterns are beautiful. This enables you right here, the stochastics, to stay in the trade longer. And when to wait for the entry. So you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. You're waiting. Now, you didn't do it here, it would have been too soon. You didn't do it here, it would have been too soon. You waited till it crossed, confirmed the green, you're in, bam. Let's look at TVIX, Trader's Dream. We're in this from this morning. In from this morning. See it cross? Look at the separation. Look at that separation. There's a lot of gap in there. Still in, still at right here, you're out. So that trade went from here to here, which was 45 to 47, two points. That's two points. Then you're back in here, right here. And look, you're in. You're in rail grind right here till up to here. So from here to here is 46 to 48.50, two and a half points. That's a big move right there. Told you exactly what it's going to And it's in rail grind still. You still got a position from the open. Down here. These, we love these rail grinds. It's at a 70.66 now. But up here, that's an 85 rail grind. And what I teach in Mojo University are certain numbers above and below to gauge rail grind sensitivity, support and resistance to maximize and or cut. Got on the SPCE. <clears throat> Short right here. See it? Cross STO. Look at the separation from the red line to the green. You're in the whole time till right here. Went long on that green bar. This move to this move on SPCE. This is 35. And this is 34. You made a point. You want to go short right there? No, you're too early. That's right here. You want to go short right here or long? No, it's too early. Look, I mean, you're long, it's too early. You're waiting. When should I get in? When should I get in? Well, right here on that green bar. And look what happens. This one, the red line stays above the green the whole time until you're out right here. And you sold half right here. So you sold half right there. It did a Cupid top right here. You're out. And then you short it right there and you cover that short right there. So you short right here and you cover that short right here and you just made a beautiful move right there. Beautiful. That's how it works, guys. If you like what I got going on, you just need to subscribe, man, to my channel. Let me know that you're out there. See what else we got? Oh, you verify Patrick, what's up, dude? Hi. She got some guy finally. What? Why do you call yourself pro? Because we try to make money every day. That's all. We got a we got a guy on here. We try to make money every day, you know? That's what we try to do. Nothing against you though, you know. And then he says, "Can you explain what the Oh, just watch some of my other videos. Robbie say I went um live for you yesterday." You were supposed to say, yeah, stay live. So now I ain't going to do nothing for you no more. You just watch some of my old videos. And if you go in the search, you could search Heinz and like 30 of them will come up. Can I sign up for next month's challenge? Yeah, come into the Mojo Room, Matrons. Go to my website. Sign up right now and get, on, get your name on that, baby. You know what I'm saying? Get your name on that list right there, Bobs. See what else? Oh, I'm talking bullshit. Of course, dude. Patrick, didn't you see the disclaimer, bro? Everything we do here is fake. Dude, let me show it to you again. Look, f first listen. Li Any question? Listen the to this. The cat. The cat. Listen, that's a cat. Type into question. Man. 
So, dude, we're for education purposes only, dude. We're a provider of stock market education, bro. Everything we do is fake. Look, hypothetical computer simulated performance results are believed to be accurate. However, they're not guaranteed as accuracy or completeness and subject to change. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain inherent limitations. Unlike actual trading and performance, simulated results don't represent actual trading. And since the trades actually haven't been executed, the results may be overcompensated for the impact, dude. I show that every day. I even held it on there for a long time. So all you had to do, bro, is just keep that up there and know that, dude, everything we do is not good for you. That's all. So you could move on, Patrick, and go do your own thing. We we appreciate everything you got to say, but little peace later. Absolutely. Matrons, you could sign up. Absolutely. Nobody believes me. Of course not, dude. Making, dude, of course, dude. Yeah, the, yeah, Richie makes money, dude. See my verified PL? Sure, come on over, bro. I'll hook you up. Not letting me share my PL. Patrick is a joke. Patrick, we don't want to see your PL, dude. We don't want to see your PL, bro. Patrick's disgruntled, bro. Remove him. All right. Sorry, dude. You're out of here. So I'll get you on my uh, removal in the community, too. And I'll find you on Twitter and on your other shit, and I'll get you off there, too. Nice. Cool, dude. Yeah, Patrick was a joke. All his messages have been removed and retracted. But thank you, guys. Let's head back over to the main screen, because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, dude. I've only been doing this for 25 years, dude. I've been sitting at this desk, the same platforms, playing the same video game for 25 years. There's two things that I'm freaking amazing at besides the family. Number one is trading. Pro trader. Number two is golf. I will smoke anyone in either of those. And I could teach them both to anybody. Don't F around with those two with me. Because you don't got a chance. Ever. I'm ready. Mojo's ready, dude. Been playing, doing this game right here. Donkey Kong. Pac-Man. You know how far I got on Pac-Man when I played that? I knew to the end, to like the 50th key, the same pattern, there was a pattern, and I sat there for hours, dude. Going through all to get to the 50th key until I was finally done and mastered that game. Asteroids, dude, and Donkey Kong, all those games, dude. Mastered them, dude. Mastered them. Absolutely. Just like this game. This is the best video game. Same patterns like Pac-Man. Same patterns. You see, look. Peek, peek, peek. Short. Peek, 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 peek. Now Pac-Man, come in. Here we go. Bonk, 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 bonk. Reward. Bonk, 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 bonk. Up, sell. Yeah, look up. Oh, wow, I just made real money. Holy crap, that was amazing. Let's try that again. Up oh, here goes the Pac-Man. It's crossing down. Wait. Bang, 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 bang. Here it crossing up. Here we go. Turn into a Pac-Man. Ba 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 and ride that baby up. Let's play some Pac-Man, man. That's all it is. And it's the same pattern every time. Pac-Man's up and then Pac-Man's down. It's a beautiful thing. So if you'd like to come play Pac-Man with me. Try it on the challenge first before you risk your real money. Get this platform going right here that I'm trading on. I'll share my layout with you. The same screen, the same platform. It's real-time data. It's from this provider. They charge $150 a month for this platform and this data. 
I got it from them for $99 so you could do the challenge for a month. There you go, $99. I could see your trades. I could say, dude, sell. Dude, rebuy. Dude, you're doing wrong. Dude, great job. Dude, you've won five days in a row. Dude, you're up next next week. Do it again for a couple of days and go live. Or dude, every day you suck. Dude, you should get out of your rut like I did with Ryan yesterday. I said, dude, you better change your freaking ways, bro. Right, Ryan? Did that with you. Let me show him your shit, bro. You don't mind. Ryan's messing around. I said, dude, don't mess around. Right here. I'm going to show him the combo, bro. He says, can you unlock my demo? I said, dude, I'm away. I said, stop for the day. Normally, you wouldn't be able to be logged back on. I told you not to ratchet up your shares. He wanted to ratchet up the shares. I told him not to. It's too early. Too risky in the beginning. I said, you want to review today? He goes, no. He says, I'm good. I'm just not following the rules. And I'm not following. Focusing on this screen. Once I fund it, then I'll watch like a hawk. That's excuses, man. That's bad. I'm determined to get back even for the day. He's going to lose more. I've already tried that, guys. This, I've tried 1,000 times. The first 100 times I tried it, I lost 95 of those times. But you're like, dude, you won five times. Yeah, but on the first time I lost, I came back the next day and did it again and lost, and then the account was done. So because I went back, my loss escalated so much I blew up the account. So I've already journaled it a thousand times. Try to make it back. You're going to lose 950 of those times. Okay? How do I know that? Because I've done it a thousand times. He goes, when I get back online, I'll unlock you and you should try to trade in the same fashion as you would be doing live. He says, okay. So I'm spanking him a little bit, man. I'm spanking him a little bit. Okay? I said, take a screenshot um, right here of my platform and save it as an image. Then go into your admin panel and build each component one by one. And you'll get familiar with the system and the functionality of the platform. If you have any trouble, I can hop on TeamViewer and help you. If you're using a laptop, it will come in different because mine is on a desktop. And then... He went in the room and traded today after I spanked him last, uh, yes, at 1126. Okay. Then, Brian. Right here. He made $229. Mm -hmm. Ryan. From Ryan. All right. Anyway, it's there. It's there. Helped his ass. Straighten it out, make $229, $230. That's how you do it, man. You don't need to make no thousand dollars on 60 grand account. You can only buy $30,000 position, man. Give me a break, guys. Do it for one month. All the firm wants to do, I told you, 90% of the traders in this business, I've been doing it for a long time. 90% of the traders fail in the first month. You thought I was going to say 9 out of 10. 
they fail within the first month. Okay? So let me ask you a question, seriously. They say, you know, nine out of 10 day traders fail. They can't make it. It's too hard. What's the definition of that? I finally made it. Saywin finally made it. Uh, Key finally made it. Allen finally made it. What would have happened if we stopped after we blew up the first two times or three times? You know what? We had flashes of greatness. There's 20 days to trade. I remember walking down the block many, many years ago, walking my dog, telling my missus, man, this is the greatest in the whole world. I've made money 19 days in a row. I, nothing could stop me. The future is, look how bright it is. This system I have with the Heinz and the Platt is amazing. And then I got so, I'm going to go big. The next day, I blew up the account, half the account. And then I had to start back up. It put me back about a week. When you lose one day, it sets you back three days because you don't go for the green. You went for the green. You were 285 yards out, bro. It was too far. You hit it in the water. So the next day, you're not going to go for the green. Just make par, a layup. You did. You just tick back from that big loss. The next day, do it again. The next day, do it again. So these guys that are in the other rooms that are losing, you're done for the month. It's going to take you all month, just a week or two, just to get back on the bad trade that you got stuck in. And then the rest of the month to figure out, listen, it's not the place that you're going to make money because if you were making money every day times 20 days, that's what you thought this would be about. And that's available in the Mojo Day Trade Room. There's one trade that we do. That's it. It's called the Heinz. Everything else is for fun. This is the business. The guy that complained and said everything's a fake and give me the P&L and it's bullshit, dude. You don't have, I don't have to open my garage door and show you my car to prove that I drive. Who cares? What do you need to see my car for? Worry about your own ride. Worry about your own shit. And if you're on pointing fingers at somebody else, you don't got no game. LeBron James ain't pointing no fingers at no other NBA players, bro. Saying, dude, show me your freaking stats when you were in high school, bro. They ain't doing that shit. Tiger Woods, none of them guys saying, dude, you know, let me uh, see your track record befores and shit, dude. They don't point the fingers, bro. The guys that are shitty, look at, oh, you ain't Tiger Woods. Let me see your, 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 uh, your trophy case, dude. How about you, we just come on out on the course. Patrick Doyle, come to my room. Tell me who you are. I'll give you a trading account for free. We'll load it up for $100,000. I'll go and load up mine, $100,000. Same demo account. No pressure on you. And we'll trade. Everyone will see your trades. Everyone will see my trades. All real time, just as if it was the real deal. And if you win, I'll give you $5,000. And if you lose, you give me $5. That's how confident I am that I'll make a fool out of you. Just like if you came on the golf course and you said I had no game. So if you came on the course and I shot a 68, two under on the front, one or two under on the back, finished four under, you wouldn't say, dude, let me see your scorecards and your shit. You'd say, damn, that guy's got game. 
So when you come in and I make eight at eight trades and I take $100,000 and I make $2,000 on four good trades in 30 minutes, solid, no risky crap home run shots, I'll win. Because that's how the winners win in the stock market. There is no other way to do it. Yeah, he's got $500 on me right there, Christopher. Absolutely. Let's take the bets, baby. I'm interested in an eight. You got an eight to five job. Well, listen, you got to keep your eight to five job, bro. The casino's always open, dude, from 930 to four or even in the pre, but we don't really trade in the pre. So if you could take a half hour out from 930 to 10, 10 to 1030, 1030 to 11, I usually go to lunch, 1130. 12.30, back at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to do an afternoon show recap and maybe some trading. Dude, you got plenty of time throughout the day to do that Heinz trade play. They happen all day long. You just have to come and learn it. And to learn it is free because in Mojo University, my course, it's not $1,500. It's free. To become a member of the chat room is 99 to the new trader, 149 to the regular guy, unless you do the challenge. And that's it, bros. You're all set. I got everybody covered, except that Doyle guy. I don't have him covered. Let me see if I could find him on Twitter. Toka, it doesn't have much more to go. All right, here he is. Let's see who he is. Patrick Doyle. So he is... Snapchat, creator of children, gamer. He could be this guy. Self-employed. Developer, senior editor of Rolling Stone. He's not that guy. I know that's not you right there. Senior editor of Rolling Stone ain't doing that. Brexit is stupid. This could be him right here. Because he's bashing racism and about the financials. This could be him. Husband, father... A lot of Patrick Doyle's, man. Head of design for an automotive startup. A lot, a lot of Patrick Doyle's. Former minor league turned loan officer. Huh. I wonder if I have this other program but I could search my whole community. I do. I don't know if it'll... I can do a search. Name. Patrick. Doyle. None. Name Doyle. Doyle's Town, Pennsylvania came up. Patrick Doyle's. I got 53,000 people, man. A lot of people to search through, but I got this program that does it in a second. All right, Patrick, Stan Fitzpatrick, Patrick Walker, Patrick Simpson, Patrick Ash, Shirk Patrick. I got 97 users with the name Patrick in it. Patrick. 
Patrick Doyle's the uh, I see his avatar from uh Hey, what's up, man? Oliver. Same with Mojo for three months. I trade a bit in the pre market from seven thirty to eight thirty nine, go to work. Totally worth it. Nice job, Oliver. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. So his image is like a freaking something, a clown or something like that. All right, yeah, yeah, I'm on my shit. I'm on my Twitter. Cool, man. Thanks, all. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, dude. <clears throat> nice. Mm -hmm. Sign up for the chat room, bro. Totally worth it. VXRT just got a huge spike. Look at that. Look at the spike of volume. It just came in on VXRT at 109. Toke is 214. Just spiked two. I want to show you a review of Toka right here. Let's go. I want to show you two twenty. Perfect. So look at this Toka chart. Toka <clears throat> did a GG Hulk combination right there. GG Hulk. Did a GG Hulk combination. Very, very powerful. According to the teachings, we're identifying three spots in the chart for the day only. This is what we got. And it came down. So that we did great, did great, did great. Now it goes sideways. Okay, then it goes up. Then it goes sideways. It goes up here and here. One, two, three. See it? That's what I see. Here's just today's. So right here you have a GG Hulk Combo Cupid Top. Here ninety seven cent pick.
here. Dollar sixty five. Mojo right here at forty four. Executes. Mojo right here at forty seven. Executes. To 94. Executes. To 97. Executes. It comes down. The stopping station, 151. And then it moves all the way back up on this, all the way to a new high of 202. So that's a 151 stop. Times two, biggest bar on the chart, beautiful, sold right there on STO, rebought down here, okay, this time This one I'm going to do I have to do a different color. Blue pen. Right here. Right here. And right here. This, hate these colors. Let's see if I can get color. It's 315. This 215. Miraculous. You asked for my PL and everything? You're freaking stupid, dude. You're stupid. When you sit in there later, say, dude, what I did on that YouTube was childish and stupid because nobody knows more about trading than this guy. And I can't find it anywhere. 215 and 315, it's exactly what I teach in Mojo University. It has very, very big meaning. Right here is 1215. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. So right there, check this out.
Oh, this is rail grind here. I saw I was on mute. Yeah, I got it. The mic was on mute. Sorry. So this is a channel right here. I was saying you guys don't see it's called Mojo University. I put great things in there like these charts that continue these patterns. Here's Tesla right here. Look at the Tesla. Rail grind. See it? This went from 400 to 528. 128 point move on Tesla in the rail grind. See that? That's historic. Apple, look at this Apple move I got. Apple chair lifted up, went into rail grind, and it chair lifted all the way up here and it went all the way up to there. That's. Yeah. 311 to 317. Six points on Apple. Historic, man. You got to follow these. They know it all. Look at Rad right here. Right Aid. When it made its huge move. Here's the V-band spike right here at 1250. From there, it rekindled back up at 1115. And then it continued rail grind the whole way. From 12 to 1450. A two and a half point move, man. Here's JDST. Huge rail grind from nine twenty to ten bucks. So right here, I got it. I unmuted it. So this is everything I teach in the Mojo University right here. Where we scale up, where we get out, how we sell into what top, where we get back in to stop, how we go back up, where Heinz is what the time of days are on the uh, on the GG Hulk combination and where we buy and sell. This is just absolutely picture perfect, man. Good day of learning today, man. I got it. Thanks. Awesome. Right, let's see what we got here today. At the end of the day. Anybody get locked? Nope. Cool. Who's the biggest winner today? $354 on Demo 46. Trading TVIX and JDST like a champion. Nice job, dude. Demo 47 with a close 308. 51, 271. Beautiful trading today, guys. Let's look do a review of one of them, shall we? Let me pick one. How about this one, number two? Let's do a review, shall we? Let's see how this trader followed the mojo. Make believe this is you, guys. Make believe this is you, please. Nothing special with this trader, believe me. If he can do it, anybody can. Believe me, he traded until 12.30. He started at 9.30. There you go, dudes. His is filled orders. And today's date. 2.20. 1. Okay, you ready? What he did. All right, we got his whole trades fit on. This is you. If you're watching this video, you did these trades. I'm reviewing them because you've taken my course for free. You're a member of the chat room for $99. It's a subscription. It goes every month. You got this platform for $99 real-time data to practice and to do these trade reviews with me. These are priceless. Let's see how this guy did. He did BXRX. He bought 500 at 922 and he sold it 
at 938, 300 of them. Good job. And then he bought 500 JDST at 787. So BXRX, great first trade. You made 16 cents. You still have some left. Then you rebought back BXRX at 939. Not scared into positive expectancy on the open for the 950 roll. Well, you sold at 950. Great trading, dude. Then you bought again at 57, higher, be careful. Oh, you sold one penny lower, 56, you risked a penny. And you sold three cents higher, 59, nice. And then you rebought it back at 37, beautiful. More at 47 and 44, and then you sold at 47, 49 and 53, dude. You are a good trader following my picks as I'm calling them out. Now you're at stopping station, 951. You're buying, just like I told you, you're buying at 51. Great job. You sold for a loss at 35. Okay? I think I told you to do that. And you're buying it back at 15. More at 18. More at 20, selling at 17. All right, you didn't make money there. No harm, no foul. You bought CLDX at 287. Sold it, lost a little nickel there, no problem. But then bought for Heinz at 298 and sold at 302. Great job by coming back to that, dude. You are a, a lot of people wouldn't have been able to do that, dude, after selling it. From 287 for a little bit of a loss to 282, coming back in right at Heinz and believing it was going to go through, and it did. You are a good trader. You know how to trade the system. You bought BXRX. You only took a little bit of a loss. Great job. And for the day, you finished at $308. You times that by 20 days. And this is what you're going to make per month, 308. And this is on a small account. Right now, you make this 308 times 20 days is $6,000 for the month that you'll make times 12 months. It's 73000 a year having fun listening to the mojo, learning the system and trading. Right there, $308, dude, for the day. 308 put it in your calculator man uh you just made 308 times it by 10 you got another three thousand and eighty dollars in buying power great job dude that's how this program works platform's amazing you just press the button click you're in click you're out that's it right here you like the stock, I say buy it. You put it in them with the share amount you want right there and you buy. Then when it runs up, you can either do it as a limit order or sell it right here at the market. And you're done, dude. Coke is 208. Look at it making its move right here into the high. 235, it's gonna go, go some more. Coca, 48 million shares, told you. I think I started the show, it was 30 something million. Started at 1.8 million. It was a 10 times factor. It was like 18 earlier, I think. Just traded a lot of volume, dude. These volume bars right here is a million each. That's 2 million shares right there. Nice day, man. Nice day. Guys, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel so when I go live, you get notified. You get filled with all this great information and edutainment. A lot of, lot of edutainment. Subscribe to my videos, man. There it is. Look, subscribe. Winners. See all those winners flashing by? Just like today. Look, all different days. Winners, winners, winners charts, dude. Look. I'll play it again. Watch. Look at all the winners scrolling by. See them? 
think I have some of those winners right here. Here's some of them right here that you saw flying by on that. On 5.9 of 2.19, I got in this dollar stock and it, for Heinz a dollar, same thing like this one. And this one went to $5. This was Workhorse, just like the uh, Toka. Then I nailed this one right here. This one. On 10.11 of 2.19, SES from three to nine bucks. Three to nine, three eighteen to nine eighteen. Synthesis Energy, three hundred percent winner. Then nine nineteen, couple of days right there. You saw the dates, ten eleven. This one's nine nineteen, couple of days sooner. Four thousand eight hundred thirty-two dollar winner on West Water from three sixty to four twenty. Then a couple of days earlier on eight twenty-nine, Castle Brands buyout. On 829, then on 816, just a couple of days earlier than that, PSTV from 8 to 15 on August 16th. 8 to 15, 13,000 in profits off that one on August 16th. Then the day before that, on August 15th, I did this show on Synth from 250 to 375, Syntex Technologies on August 15th. Then check it out. Two days earlier was MMTC, MTech, MTC from 390 to 10.50. 330% winner. Did a show on that one. Go look at that show. That was on August 13th. You know what I'm saying? August 13th. And then right before that, on August 13th, on August 9th, had Arcadia Biosciences. Four days earlier from 290 to 420. Amazing. And then right here on 5.9 and another one here, dude, just all over the place. Winners, winners. They happen on the swing side too. Bitcoin services, 965% winner. Mojo swing on November 1st of 2017. There it is. SSC. Seven stars cloud. Actual swing pick on P-top. 900% gain. Actual swing pick on Long Island Ice Tea, 375% gain. Actual swing pick on Bitcoin Investment Trust. Check it out, weebs. It went from 630 to 2,574. This was my not Matt. This is what I'm talking about. Picked at 630, went to 2,574 weeps. Look at this one. I ain't joking. Look, this was a 630 GBTC. Me and Gerardo picked it on 525 of 2017, right there. Picked at 630, and in a little bit of time, it went to 2,000. Three hundred and seventy dollars, a hundred shares for sixty-three thousand, turned it to two hundred and fifty-seven thousand in sixty days. Actual swing pick, weebs. That was in two thousand, not September fifteenth of two thousand and seventeen. Here in the room and in the swing newsletter. That's the potential move that Bitcoin can make that no one realizes. You know what I'm saying? pretty sick. I got the data on everything, guys. I got the data on everything. Really do. So guys, it's 348 heading into the closing bell. It's Friday. Thank you for watching the Mojo Day Trading Show. Check out the challenge. I hope I get a lot of signups over the weekend, a lot of new traders that are coming in to show that they know what they're doing and to challenge themselves, okay? You don't have to know what you're doing in the beginning. You just have to be eager to learn. The guys that think you're a good trader, I challenge you to challenge yourself to come in and prove to yourself that your game could be stepped up to a new level and how you're going to do that in your current situation. You're not getting there. You need a new mentor and a coach maybe to bring your game up from amateur web.com tour to PGA tour status, okay? All the guys that are amazing experts, been trading for 20 years, 
I challenge you to learn the mojo system with the Heinz trade play and like pro trader Richie, make a million dollars in profits and put it out to the room and let me show everybody on YouTube like I am for Richie and Alan and the rest of the pros that you too can make a million dollars of profits trading these kind of stocks that I'm trading in the room with the mojo. Look what would happen if you were trading 100,000 shares of TOCA through Heinz a dollar. You would have made $100,000 on that trade. Could it have supported 100,000 shares? Absolutely. Got two traders in the room that are documented millionaires. One from a long time ago and one that's uh, just recent. You got Pro Trader Mouse right here, guys. Pro Trader Mouse interviewed on Blog Talk Radio. Took out four credit card cash advances for $20,000 each. And within a month or two, made a million dollars in the Mojo Day trade room. Documented, day by day, putting out the picks. Pro Trader Mouse right there millionaire trader one of my first back in the day with the mouse and he was on blog talk radio guys let me see i think i have it right here let me see what i have right here i think it's under mr mouse Found it. Right here, here's the interview. Alex, thanks for the wonder. He is the new voice of talk radio, Alexander Danilov. My guest tonight is somebody I've talked about on the show, and my guest has talked about on the show for uh, the last few weeks. He is Randy Schreiber, aka Pro Trader Mouse, um, in the Mojo Trading Room. Uh, he has been very successful in so many different endeavors that he's been involved in, and somehow has managed to fight for and uh, hustle his. America's newest millionaire trader, uh, which I think is uh, truly remarkable. Uh, Better ask somebody, guys. Right there, man. Millionaire trader back in the day in 2014. That was his first million. Could you imagine? He's It's 2020, guys. We got some big dollarinis in the room. We got pro trader Kent. Pro Trader Kent, dude. See this guy right here? Where is he? He's gone. Damn. He's, he, because the internet connection must be bad. He trades from an oil rig in the Pacific Ocean. He's the, he owns an, an oil rig, dude, in the ocean. One of them big freaking things, dude. He's a lifetime trader for Mojo. Absolutely. Have a great weekend, Hunt. See you, Texas. See you, Weebs. Later, guys. You want to check out the levels? We'll do that, and then we'll split. Let's see who's been active in the Mojo room. Levels. Let's see who's doing what, who's been active. We got Pro Trader Allen. Nice. We got Pro Trader Allen with 2,500 messages in the room with an experience level of 49 and a level of 26. Number one, baby. Number one, right there. Renteria, right behind them in second place with 1,800 messages in the Mojo Day Trade Room. Experience points 35,900 at level 23. Pro Trader Seyun with 1.3 thousand messages. Mar with 1,200. Mike D trailing 
with a close experience points of 23,000 versus 24.7 and a level 20 and 19, followed by Pro Trader Lewis with 793 messages with level 16, and then Pro Trader Gerardo right underneath him at uh, 500 messages, Fly 500, Edward 491, Dean Mission Impossible, boom, boom. We got the uh, key, you're, you're, you're catching up, 325, Oliver 254, Alpha, Brad Frogger. Nice job, guys. Appreciate every single one of you. So with that said, peace. Keep it profitable. Have a great weekend. Later. Pro Trader Mike signing off. Keep it cool, boy.